Welcome to the shooting show. This week we head off to Germany for some robot calling with a difference. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. My name is Maron Alhamma. Um, I'm the marketing manager for the Gecko Optics and I'm working for Ruag. So we introduced these, these optics this year on the IWA. That means we have a lot of binoculars and we have uh, also rifle scopes in two lines. So the Gecko Gold line that is uh, more premium orientated. And we have also pre normal lines of the Gecko, the entry line and the Gecko Black. But that is for hunting not so important as for tactical shooting. So here on that event we are focused on the Gecko Gold line. And we invited a lot of international journalists to come to that place here in Liebenberg, next to Berlin. It's a wonderful area and to give the people the opportunity, a mixture between shooting the, the, our optics and testing our optics in shooting range, out, outdoor and whatever, and also combined with hunting, so that they have their real own experience. And that event, a lot of companies uh, support us. For example, you know they they got uh, Sealand gear or the new Sealand stuff, jacket, trouser. Then we have the guns from Rösler. We have the robot caller from Rotum the Rotum Taler, Klaus Demer, good guy. And all this together is the opportunity to test a package under real life or under real hunting conditions. And I'm also went out with the cameraman from UK, so Stuart and. Just let, let me show you how we try to get some Robux and have a lot of fun and also it was an exciting hunt. Don't have to tell you, walk slowly. No, no, we should be fine. This isn't just any hunt. Marwan's taken us out on a prestigious German estate. There's no shortage of deer either, as the sign on the ground shows. Ascending the typically impressive German high seat, Marwan awaits some suitable quarry. With plenty of fallow but no rows showing up so far, we decide to try calling. Still, no row, but simply being out and observing the fallow is a joy. 
Eventually, a donor follower does make an appearance. Hopefully, this means a book isn't far away. Calling more regularly now, Mawan draws a door closer, moving in and out of sheer curiosity. Finally, it's followed by the sought after book. He's done. He's in the gate hole there, I can see him. Marwan stares on aim for a second shot if needed, but this book isn't getting up. The area settles down swiftly. We told you this high seat was impressive. Marwan retreats to its covered first floor and resumes calling. because we don't have that much time I just try to imitate young kids screaming for the mother maybe they can come over and the robot will also come to us there's no luck with a kid in distress call so we call it a night and head over to retrieve the shot book Heading back to the larder, we find that the other guns on the estate have had some luck too. The book is quickly processed and put in the chiller. It's certainly going to go to good use, as Marwan will explain. But first, an attempt at a bonus morning stalk. On the second morning, we 
we climb also up on the same high seat. That is very important because then you know where the high seat is and in the morning you have to go there when it's really, really dark. We saw a lot of does. We saw a lot of fallow deers. And one funny story in my mind is still is that was the stupid spiker. So we were sitting to a small fenced, of, uh, fenced area for cows and the spiker comes, uh, uh, comes in. And then he was just, maybe he comes to our high seat three meters far away from us, he was definitely too big. So the spikes were over the ears, really good uh, bases, so nothing to shoot. And then he decided that's the reason why stupid st uh, spiker, he tries to, to get out. And then he got the problems with his spikes in the fence and it was a little bit panic, but for us it was fantastic and it was also funny. And we had a lot of animals everywhere. And he runs back away from the high seat and then you just spent there I would say a minimum five, maximum ten minutes, just standing there, eating, covering, looking. It was fantastic. A big thank you first, a really big thank you to the estate here. So that estate is called um, Schloss in Gut Liebenberg in Germany. That means castle in Liebenberg. That's a historical castle, but it's, it's really impressed me because they are running a totally different concept. So what they are doing here is next to weddings, they are combining hunting having a hotel, a nice castle, incredible good food. And what they are doing is with the game meat, they use that in the kitchen. So they are, the whole concept is built or based on things, you know, go out in the nature, shoot something, that's the reason why we are hunting, and use the meat for the guests. Marwan doing it the German way there. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The wild fowling seasons are here and the outlook is good, says Basque. Resident duck and goose species have had a reasonable breeding year, with mallard, canada and grey lag spotted up and down the country. Bolstered by migrant ducks and geese, they should make for a successful season. You can download a guide to wildfowling opportunities near you from basque.org.uk. A widespread review of shooting on national land in Wales is underway. Natural Resources Wales is asking for views on whether the use of firearms is appropriate on the land it manages. The Countryside Alliance says it has discovered that a similar review was only conducted recently, and that review found that increasing the shooting opportunities on NRW's land could earn it an extra half a million pounds a year. You'll be able to give your views when a public consultation opens in the autumn. Paul Turner took home the top prizes at the Classic DTL at Bywell. Incredibly, he went straight through two full rounds of DTL, scoring 200-600. Then he turned up to the Super Shoot-Off and went straight through that as well. Paul wins a Parazzi shotgun and the coveted Classic DTL trophy. There'll be a full report in the next issue of Clay Shooting Magazine. And finally, don't forget tomorrow is your last chance to bid on Sporting Rifles Save the Rhino auction. All bids received by noon tomorrow count, and with the total raised hovering just below the £20,000 mark, your bid could really make the difference. Foxing, stalking, overseas hunting and photography safaris and kit are all on offer, so you can get the hunt of a lifetime while supporting rhino conservation at the same time. To find out about every single lot and leading bid, head to the Sporting Rifle website now. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>